Hello all. So if you have a furnace and a high limit switch keeps tripping, I th thought I'd go over some of the causes and how you can go about fixing it. And I'm going to put links down below for everything I'm looking at here. But what is the furnace high limit switch? Well, it's basically a safety feature that turns the furnace off when it overheats. Inside the furnace is a heat exchanger where all the gases and fumes are burning and the air blows past this and heats up and goes into the home. And, so, and you never want that heat exchanger to become cracked or mixed with the air that goes into the home. You want it to vent out the, out the exhaust and go outside. So to keep this heat exchanger from heating up and becoming too hot and cracking, there's a, this high limit switch will shut it down, shut down the whole furnace and not allow that to happen. So it's an important safety feature. And a lot of people ask is, can the high limit switch be bypassed? And yes, it can, but only for troubleshooting. You never want to leave this switch bypassed. That's, that's like a major no-no because you never want that heat exchanger to become cracked because it's very dangerous if that gas mixes and gets blown into a house. If there is a problem, it needs to be solved and fixed. And so what are some of the main causes and fixes for a furnace high limit switch that keeps tripping? Well, number one is the air filter. This is very common is that you go out to a call and this air filter is just completely clogged up and no air can get by. And when no air can flow by the heat exchanger, it's not carrying away the heat into the home. So it quickly overheats the whole furnace and the high limit switch will trip off. This is very common is that the air filter is just plugged up and dirty. So first thing, be sure to check the air filter and be sure that it's not dirty. Next up would be block registers. If the air is blocked from going into the home, then it, it's gonna heat up the heat exchanger too. Air is very important that it has to flow past that heat exchanger to cool it down or else it quickly heats up. So anything blocking the airflow is going to cause the furnace to heat up. So go around and check all the registers where the air blows out and be sure there's nothing blocking them, like no boxes sitting on them or anything like this and be sure that's all good. And next up would be the exhaust vent. And with this, you want to make sure that nothing's being blocked or nothing's like come apart or anything like that. Because if anything's blocking all the gas and everything from being vented outside, then this can cause things to heat up quickly. So look at the vent pipes and be sure that it all looks good. It hasn't become corroded and collapsed in on itself or anything like this. So number three would be exhaust vent. And next up would be the A coils. Not all furnaces are going to have this. This is for a split system air conditioning, which is pretty common. Uh, inside the bottom of the furnace will sit an A coil and the air blows past this and during the summer this is what cools the uh, many homes and quite commonly this becomes clogged up if the filter hasn't been changed regularly or somebody's running it without the filter for some reason and then this could become really clogged up and it could block airflow from coming in and around and into the home so which will heat up the heat exchanger and cause the high limit switch to trip so take the bottom of the of the furnace panel off and look around for the A coil and be sure that it, air can flow past the good. If not, get a brush and clean it up along with some cleaner. And next up could be a possible blower motor. If the if there's no air flowing and because the blower motor went bad, then it could cause a high limit switch to trip. So be sure that blower motor is working and blowing out correctly. And next up would be the inducer motor. And the inducer motor creates a pressure so that the so that the gases get vented out through the exhaust pipe. And if, when this, if this goes bad, then the gases won't vent properly. On many newer furnaces, the furnace won't even start if the inducer motor goes bad because it needs to see a slight pressure and that the exa exhaust are being vented before the furnace even starts. But number six would be a bad inducer motor. And last up would be the furnace limit switch has just gone bad. So if you checked everything else and everything else looks good, you can go over and test the furnace limit switch or replace it. And since it could possibly have gone bad. So that's basically it. I just wanted to go over some of the main causes and fixes. If you have a furnace high limit switch and it keeps tripping and causing the furnace to shut down. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.